Hi guys, so today we are going to be making a rainbow cake in a not so traditional way. So this was my birthday cake. You might recognize this cake from the vlog we uploaded last week. If you guys are wondering that we would require six different cake tins to make this cake, then don't worry, guys. We both have only baked it with one cake tin, with all the colors in the one cake tin baked only once, and both one one ho raha hai. So <laughs> let's just get quick creating. To start off with, we're going to take a big mixing bowl, and to that we're going to add French vanilla cake mix. You can also make use of the plain vanilla cake mix, but since it's Vaishnavi's favorite. Here we are using French vanilla cake mix, which is 520 grams. To that, we are going to crack in three eggs, some oil, and some water. Now, make sure that you don't add too many of those wet ingredients, and make sure that you add them in the batches so that we get a thick consistency of the cake batter. We don't want our cake batter consistency to be too flowy, since we don't want our cake colors to get mixed up. Now we're going to divide our cake batter in six different bowls with two scoops each, so that we get six different colors in each cake batter. Now we're going to make use of only three food colors here to get six different colors. We're going to make use of the plain colors like red, blue, and yellow. We're going to add blue and red to make the violet or purple color. We're going to add red and yellow to make the orange color, and yellow and blue to make the green color. Here we are adding five to six drops of food color into each cake batter because our cake batter is of a yellow color. If you are using a plain vanilla cake batter, then you might not need to add so many drops of food color. Now, using a spatula, we are going to mix all those colors well. Just look at it; it looks so satisfying, and the colors have popped in so well. It looks so pretty. It's going to look even pretty when we are going to decorate it. Now we are going to take a cake tin which is greased well with butter. To that we are going to add parchment paper or baking paper, and then we are going to grease it well with oil or butter using a brush. Now we are not going to assemble our cake in the traditional way. We are going to do something different. We are going to add spoonfuls of each color like so, and work our way to the top. Just make sure that you don't add the same color in one spot so that you get all those colors in your green bouquet. This process might take a little bit of time, but it is so easy. And once the cake comes out, you'll be proud of yourself. Once that's done, you're going to tap your cake tin to remove any air bubbles, and it's time to bake. For baking, we are going to use a hot pot. We're going to place a wire stand on the hot pot, and we're going to preheat for about eight to ten minutes on medium high flame. Once we have preheated our hot pot or kadai, we're going to place our cake tin into it, and we're going to bake the cake for about forty-five to fifty minutes on medium high flame. You know your cake is done when you stick a toothpick into it, and it comes out clean. Once our cake is a little bit cool and we can work with it, we're going to flip it on a plate. We're going to carefully remove the cake tin, and we're going to let our cake cool completely. Now, using a serrated knife or a bread knife, you're going to cut our cake into three different layers. Look at it; the cake looks so, so pretty from inside. Now, we're going to place a cake board on the turntable, and we're going to add a small spoonful of whipped cream. Now, we're going to place one layer of the cake on the whipped cream so that it sticks well. To that, we're going to add dollops of whipped cream, and using an offset spatula, we're going to even it all out. Don't worry; it doesn't have to be perfect, but just make sure that you have a smooth layer of the whipped cream. Now, we're going to add another layer of our cake, and we're going to repeat the same process. We're going to add dollops of the whipped cream, and using an offset spatula, we're going to even it all out. Finally, we're going to put our top cake layer. Just make sure that you align the cake layer well. And using an offset spatula, you're going to smoothen the layer out. Now it's time to put our whipped cream on the sides of the cake as well. Now we're going to run our spatula like so, so that we crumb coat the cake well. Once that step is done, we're going to chill our cake for about 30 minutes in the refrigerator. Once our cake is chilled, we're going to cover it with more whipped cream. We're going to put dollops and dollops of whipped cream on top of the cake, and using an offset spatula, we're going to smoothen it all out. Now, for decorating this cake, you don't need to have any pro decorating skills. You just have to make sure that the layer of the whipped cream is smooth enough. 
If you don't have an offset spatula, then you can also make use of a playing card like we have shown in our easy ultimate chocolate cake decorations. Decorating the top of the cake, you're going to have to move your spatula back and forth like so, so that it gives the ruffle pattern. You can leave the top of the cake as so by just smoothing it out evenly, but we're going to make a pattern like this because it gives a very good texture to our cake. Now using some crumbs of the rainbow cake, we're going to decorate the top of the cake like so. And then we're going to throw in some rainbow colored sprinkles on the sides of the cake like so. Just make sure that you paste these rainbow colored sprinkles carefully on the bottom of the sides. And that's it, our rainbow cake is done. This cake looks so so pretty, it's so insta worthy, we're going to post a lot of beautiful pictures of this cake on our Instagram account, make sure that you follow us there. It's time to cut a big slice of the rainbow cake and see what's inside. Our rainbow cake looks so pretty guys, it was amazing and delicious and it was the perfect birthday cake for Vaishnavi's 20th birthday. Hope you guys enjoyed this rainbow cake recipe that you can make without having those pro baking skills or pro cake decorating skills. And also guys, thank you so much for showering us with so much love on the recent birthday vlog that we uploaded. We tried something different, you know, outside the kitchen space and we are really thrilled that you guys enjoyed watching it. If you guys haven't checked it out already, uh, do check it out. We have also posted the link in the description box. So give it a watch and comment below how you guys liked it. Also guys, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button right here and click the bell icon, it's important you know, so that you stay notified whenever we come up with a new quick creation and that's it for today guys, we'll see you next time, bye! bye.